Hey everyone, Zach Hill from Atlas Bench here and Elastian Solution Partner, and welcome to today's demo of Jira Product Discovery. Let's get right into it. All right, so let's introduce Jira Product Discovery or JPD. It's a dedicated tool designed specifically for product teams to manage their ideas and gather feedback. Unlike juggling spreadsheets and various tools, JPD helps teams prioritize features based on real data, not just opinions. It serves as a single source of truth for everyone involved in the product process, including product managers, developers, and stakeholders, ensuring that everyone is aligned. Plus, because it integrates seamlessly with Jira software, it bridges the gap between product discovery and actual delivery, keeping everything connected from idea to execution. Lastly, JPD facilitates collaboration across teams, so product teams can move forward with confidence, knowing that the priorities are aligned with the company's goals. So product managers and their teams face several common challenges today. First, many product managers struggle with a lack of confidence in whether they're building the right product, often questioning if the features being developed truly meet customer needs or are driven by internal demands. Second, high frequency, low value administrative tasks consume a significant amount of time with PMs spending more time organizing information, updating spreadsheets and managing emails rather than focusing on product strategy and innovation. And third, there's often misalignment between teams and stakeholders. Without a central source of truth or transparent communication, product development and business teams may not be working toward the same goals, leading to delays and frustration. Additionally, feedback is frequently scattered across disconnected tools, making it challenging to centralize insights from users, customer success teams, and other stakeholders, which slows down decision-making and product improvements. And finally, product managers often struggle with prioritizing based on data rather than gut instinct, facing pressure to make decisions driven by opinions or the loudest voices rather than customer feedback and solid metrics. Now let's talk about how Jira product discovery helps solve the challenges we just discussed. First, it centralizes feedback, ideas, and insights from various teams and tools all in one place eliminating the chaos of scattered information. So this way, PMs easily gather and prioritize feedback without relying on multiple disconnected sources. JPD also reduces low value administrative tasks by automating many of the processes that take up time, allowing product managers to focus on strategy and higher impact work. Now to address misalignment between teams and stakeholders, JPT acts as a shared source of truth. Now, this ensures that everyone from product managers to developers and business stakeholders are on the same page and working toward the same goals. So with JPT's data-driven prioritization tools, PMs can make informed decisions backed by customer insights and metrics instead of relying on gut feelings or the loudest voices. And finally, JPD integrates seamlessly with Jira software giving teams full visibility from product discovery all the way through to delivery, improving collaboration and transparency between business and tech teams. Now, product operations specialists often find themselves bogged down by administrative tasks, constantly updating stakeholders and gathering feedback, which leaves little time for meaningful work. Now, Jira product discovery helps by automating status updates and centralizing feedback in one place, streamlining collaboration across the board. Product managers, on the other hand, struggle to prioritize effectively due to scattered data and last minute requests. JPD enables them to capture insights, bundle ideas, and make data-driven decisions, ensuring that their work aligns with customer and business needs. Now for product leaders and VPs, the challenge lies in aligning their teams with company objectives and maintaining visibility into team progress. JPT offers real-time views of priorities and progress, making it easier for leaders to assess competing initiatives and make informed trade-offs. And lastly, customer success managers often face frustration due to low visibility into product decisions. With JPD, customer feedback is directly connected to the product roadmap, boosting team morale and helping customer-facing teams track how their insights are shaping the product. So now let's dive into the powerful features that make Jira Product Discovery, a game changer for product management. To get started with Jira Product Discovery, there are a couple of straightforward ways to sign up if you're already using other Elastian Cloud products. 
Now, option one is to the admin.elastin.com portal. You go to the admin portal, select your site, and then navigate to the product section where you can add Jira product discovery. Option two is for those with an existing Jira software site. In this case, simply click projects in the top navigation bar, select create project, and choose product discovery under the product management category. Now, if you're looking to explore the product further, Jira product discovery is also available for a free trial at Atlassian.com forward slash product dash discovery. Now, before diving into the product, it's important to ensure that the right project access is assigned to your team members. Now, in Jira product discovery, you can assign someone as either a creator or a contributor. Additionally, Atlassian will soon be introducing a stakeholder role, which won't require any specific setup. You'll simply share the view with designated email addresses when needed. You can also click into each role type to learn more about what permissions they have. And don't worry, this will make more sense once we start exploring the product and seeing these roles in action. So once you've signed up, you're in. What you're looking at here is a Jira product discovery project, and this is the all ideas view. In a JBD project, everything revolves around ideas. Ideas can represent anything, an opportunity, a problem you've identified, or a potential solution for your product. Now, to help you describe or add context to each idea, JBD comes with pre-configured fields and field values. Now, these fields help in the eventual prioritization of ideas by allowing you to specify things like goal, impact, or effort. Now, one of the great advantages of JPD is how customizable it is. You can easily tailor these fields to meet the unique needs of your team and project, ensuring that the information is presented in a way that works best for you. Creating an idea in Jira product discovery is incredibly simple. All you need to do is click the blue create an idea button at the top of the screen and add your idea in line. Now, as soon as you do, the idea will populate immediately and you can start changing any of the fields straight away. It's really easy to customize this view to suit your preferences and ensure that the information is displayed in a way that's most useful for you and your team. Now let's take a closer look at one of the ideas. So when it comes to writing the idea description, you can either let people write it in their own style or you can use a template. Now using a template is helpful because it keeps ideas standardized, making it easier to compare ideas on an apples to apples basis. You can also choose which fields to surface here, adding more context to the idea. For example, let's take a look at the confidence field. If I'm feeling a little less confident about this idea, I can go ahead and modify the field to reflect that. Here's an example of how you can add insights to enrich an idea. For instance, maybe you found a great blog from Intercom about improving customer experience, which supports your new reward program idea. You can highlight the most useful text, use the Chrome extension, and select the reward program idea to add it directly. Now, when you revisit this idea down the road, if someone on the team asks why you're choosing to build this feature, they'll be able to see the insights you gathered and how you made your decision. Insights make ideas better by enriching them with data. You can gather insights from all around the business, whether it's a Slack message from the CEO or a quote from a customer interview. You can manually enter these insights like I'm doing now in the screenshot or use the Chrome extension to streamline the process. So if we go back to the Jira product discovery idea, you'll see that the insight we just added appears under the idea automatically. Now this makes it easy to track where the insights came from and how they contribute to and support the overall idea. With everything in one place, you can quickly reference important information without needing to search through separate documents or emails. Now, when we go back to the all ideas view, we can see that the number of insights for our idea has increased. Now, this gives you a quick snapshot of how many insights are associated with each idea, making it easy to track which ideas are supported by the most data and ensuring you're making well-informed decisions. Now that we have our ideas enriched with insights, it's time to prioritize which ideas we should start working on first and which ones we might delay for later. Now, the best way to approach this is by creating a new view. So for example, in this screenshot, I've created a view here called Impact Assessment. You can create different views and as many as you need based on any fields you choose to support the prioritization method you use. 
Now, this particular view helps us prioritize by giving a clear picture of what will have the most impact. I'm going to create a custom field called impact versus effort. And now you can see in the screenshot that this formula appears in our view, allowing us to assess ideas based on these factors. So another great way to visualize and prioritize your ideas is by using the matrix view. With the matrix view, you can plot one field on the x-axis and another on the y-axis. For example, I'll put effort on one axis and impact on the other. And this lets me see which ideas will provide the biggest impact for the least effort. In this example, we can see that automation will drive the most impact, but it also requires the most effort. This view not only helps you understand what you're building, but also why you're making those choices. You can drill down into any of these ideas and see the breadcrumbs leading to the decision, whether it's insights, comments, or other inputs that influenced the outcome. So once your ideas have been prioritized, the next step is to communicate your plan with the rest of the company and gather their feedback. In the past, this might have been done through presentations and meetings, but with Jira product discovery, you have always up-to-date roadmaps that eliminate the need for constant updates. Now, the board view is especially useful when you don't need to focus on anything time-based. For example, my manager doesn't care about the exact timing of a feature release. She just wants to know what I'm working on now, next, and later, and why. I can add the fields that are relevant to her and share the view when it's ready. So while the board view and roadmaps are great for strategic planning, sometimes you need to focus more on timing. That's where the timeline view comes in. It's highly customizable and currently supports either quarterly or monthly timelines. You can also group the timeline by other fields depending on what's most important. For example, I could group by teams to see who's working on what, or I could group by goals to show how each piece of work aligns with our larger objectives. As always, you could share this view across the business so everyone stays aligned without needing to ping you constantly, asking what's coming and when. So this view is much higher level and less intimidating than sharing a detailed timeline or roadmap from Jira software, making it easier for broader teams to digest. So now that you've set up your project, you can allocate votes to contributors and they can leave comments, reactions, and so on. But sometimes you might want more than just reactions and comments from teams around the business. You may also want contributors to be able to suggest and submit ideas themselves. To enable this, you simply go into your project settings and adjust the access settings. Here in this screenshot, you can see that all of the customer facing teams are already set up as contributors in my project, which is exactly what I need. Now you can easily modify these settings if needed to ensure the right people have the right level of access. Now when allowing contributors to submit ideas, you can fully customize the form they'll see when submitting. You can make certain fields mandatory or leave them open, depending on how structured you want the input to be. Now, this customization is really helpful when you want to compare ideas side by side, as it ensures consistency in the data you're collecting. Now, some product managers prefer to have ideas come from everywhere, while others want to control the influx of ideas to avoid overwhelming the team. The flexibility is completely up to you. So whether you want to encourage idea submissions from across the organization, or be more selective about who can contribute. Now for the product team, we can create a custom view that focuses purely on the delivery work. This view can include key fields like delivery progress, the teams involved, and the overall roadmap. What's great is that I don't need to switch over to Jira software to track progress. I can keep an eye on all of this right here in Jira product discovery. Now this allows me to maintain full visibility over delivery without leaving the discovery process. And don't forget, you can customize existing views just like we've seen or create something completely new. For example, here, I've added a new field called quarters so you can get a clear view of when each idea is lined up for delivery. Now, this way you'll always know when key features or ideas are expected to be delivered and you can track them easily. Now that you've shared your timeline and received feedback, everything is set. You prioritize what you want to work on, and now it's time to move on to the actual work. This is where the integration between Jira product discovery and Jira software really shines. From here, you can create a Jira software delivery ticket directly from the idea. This seamless connection ensures that the transition from discovery to delivery is smooth, and the teams working on the product can pick up right where you left off. 
Now, the engineering manager takes the epic created in Jira product discovery and breaks it down into child issues for the development team. This work surfaces in Jira product discovery, giving the product manager a bird's eye view of everything happening in Jira software. At the same time, engineers get full visibility into why they're building what they're building. It's a two-way pain where both sides, product and engineering, are finally aligned in speaking the same language, ensuring smooth collaboration across the board. Now, the Atlas integration with Jira product discovery allows you to track work across tools, ensuring your product and project goals stay aligned. For example, you can link your ideas in Jira product discovery to Atlas goals or projects. Once connected, any status changes in Atlas are automatically reflected in Jira product discovery. This integration helps you track how your ideas contribute to the larger business goals and see real-time project status without manual updates. You can also see how project timelines are synced. If the date changes in Atlas, it automatically updates in Jira product discovery, keeping everything aligned without you needing to make manual adjustments. Now, if you try to adjust the timeline within Jira product discovery for an idea linked to an Atlas project, it'll prompt you to make that change directly in Atlas, ensuring consistency across both platforms. By linking ideas to Atlas, you can keep track of project status, whether it's on track, pending, or at risk, without needing to manage multiple systems. Now, this seamless integration helps you ensure that your teams are always working towards the same goals with up-to-date information. To wrap things up, Jira product discovery helps you centralize ideas and streamline the entire discovery process, making it easier to manage and prioritize opportunities. With fully customizable views, you can tailor the system to your team's needs, ensuring better decision-making at every stage. Jira product discovery fosters effortless collaboration across teams, keeping everyone aligned and focusing on the right goals. By integrating seamlessly with tools like Jira software and Atlas, you ensure a fully connected workflow that takes ideas from conception through to delivery. In short, from idea generation to final execution, Jira product discovery keeps everything on track, aligned, and optimized for success. My name's Zach from Atlas Bench. Thank you for joining me of this deep dive of Jira product discovery, and I'll see you in the next one.